guys are. They're looking for you everywhere. Mm. Hmm, a kiss. Must mean you want something. Uh, yeah. I was wondering if you could do me a favour. Out, I guess. Oh, please, Paul. I got an interview. At the resort? Not at the resort. I got to see a personnel officer in the city. Or say something. It's great. Yeah, terrific. Except I don't want Alpha and Arsa to know. Well, you're going to have to tell them sometime. If and when I get the job, it'll be hard enough then. Well, how are you going to swing it? Well, I brought my interview clothes with me, and I thought that I could leave early tomorrow in my uniform and get to your place and change. Will that be OK? Well... Oh, please, Paul, you know how much I want this job. All right. Great. And there's just one more thing. Can you cover for me? Just tell Fisher I'm sick or something. Yeah, but if you get sprung, we'll cop it. There's no way we're going to get sprung. Alf and Alf are both at work, and they're not going to know if I'm at school or not. We'll do it. Anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. So do I look all right? <laughs> look pretty straight to me. Yeah, we have to look pretty straight for these kind of interviews. <laughs> you don't want me to get this job, do you? No, I want you to get the job, if that's what you want. But why you have to apply for one so far away? Look, it's not going to be forever. Here's my bus. Better wish me luck. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Hey, dudes. Uh, Mitch, am I not in today? What do you ask? Oh, you guys usually hang out together. <clears throat> No, she's, uh, she got the flu. Oh, when would she get that? She seemed to write last time I saw it. I think she came down with it last night, didn't she, Stephen? Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember she had a headache. That, that must have been the start. Yeah, she was sneezing as well. Yeah, all right, you can sneezing. spare me the gory details. Hope it's not going around, eh? No, it's, it's probably just one of those 24-hour things. Yes, oh, let's hope so. Ah, uh, you got your shirt tucked in for change, Stephen. Why would you have to go into such detail? Oh, he asked. Yeah, he could have just said she was sick and left it at that. All right, it's no big deal. You're in a good mood. How would you feel if your girlfriend applied for a job 2,000 k's away? See her off? Yeah, she was all doled up like an air hostess or something. Yeah, she's crazy. She won't get the job. What if she does? I'll never see her again. She's got no work experience. Can you imagine anyone giving her a job as a hostess at a resort? It's a trouble. I can. Good day, Alf. Ah, oh, good day, mate. How's the new flat going? Settling in all right? Yeah, could say that. But uh, don't tell me, Jane wants the whole place redecorated over the weekend, right? No, but please don't suggest it. Don't give her an idea. <laughs> you two had your first blue already, eh? Yes. Ah, <laughs> well, don't worry, mate. Always takes a while getting to know one another when you first move in. Dollar twenty things. No pain, no gain, eh? Hmm. Yeah. Listen, I, uh, sorry to hear about Emma. What about her? Well, this, this flu business. Paul said something about a 24-hour thing. It's the first I've heard of it. Well, didn't you see her this morning? Oh, yeah, I saw her when she left for school. She looked as fit as a Mallee bull. Maybe I've got it wrong. Yeah, maybe you've got it right. Paul! It's no trouble. What's all this about Emma? What do you mean? Well, what was the idea of telling me that yarn about her being crook? Uh, that's what she told me. Oh, yeah? I saw her leave home this morning and she was fine. Well, I don't know anything about it. Come on, mate. You're covering for her. If she's not at this school, I want to know where she is. If I knew, I... Look, I checked home and I checked the diner. Now, where is she? Time, Paul. She's gone to the city. The city? What for? I can't say any more. She asked me not to tell you. She'll be all right. Oh, that's great, that is. Emma's tramping around the streets of the big smoke on her own, and all you can do is stand there and say she'll be all right. Look, if it's any help, she said she'll be back on the 4.30 bus. Hey, Paul. She's in for it now. Me, will you? You're hurting me. Yeah, 
girl, you'll be hurting a lot more by the time I finish with you. Of all the ungrateful, Look, deceitful... Look, I'd only wagged a day of school. Anyone would think I committed the crime of the century. Yeah, what about if you'd been in a bus crash or something, eh, and been taken off the hospital house, and I wouldn't have had a clue where to start looking for you? OK, I'm sorry, I should have asked, but I knew you'd only say no. Yeah, and what about all the money we spend on your school books, eh? And all the money we spend on your flaming uniforms and that? And speaking of uniforms, you had one on when you left here this morning. Where is it? I went to Paul's and got changed, but if you'd let yeah, me... Yeah, and I suppose you were going to go back to Paul's and get changed again and come back here like butter wouldn't melt in your mouth. I've had enough of this. Emma! No, I'm not coming back until you're prepared to listen to me. Where do you think you're going? Out. You're not going anywhere until you learn to show a little bit of respect around the Look, place. Look, you can't make me do anything. I'm 18 now, remember? I can do what I like. I don't give a damn how old you are. If you want to behave like a spoiled brat, you'll be treated like one. Now, I want some straight answers. Why did you miss school today? I tried to tell before and you didn't want to listen, did you? Matt? Yeah, but you really went off his face this time. Yeah, Mitch wasn't too happy with this either. Well, thanks for trying to cover for me, OK? You going to tell him about the job? What job? You didn't get it. I practically muffed every question the guy asked me. I don't remember the year I was born. Can you believe it? Yeah, well, you were nervous. They make allowances for that. Oh, well, it's a PR job like hostessing. You're going to want someone that's confident and sophisticated. I guess you just came across like a complete moron. Well, look at the bright side. At least you won't be leaving Summer Bay. I'm staying here for the rest of my life, even off the doll. You could stay at school. Then what? Go to uni, get a degree. What's the point? I don't need a degree to get into tourism. Yeah, but post-testing is not much of a degree. The staff? It would have been. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Do you reckon Alpha now so I'll let you leave? I'm not going to let them stop me doing anything. Alf reckons I'm an irresponsible kid. Well, he ain't seen nothing yet. You of all people ought to know that yelling at Emma gets you absolutely nowhere. Oh, I know, love. I know I handled it badly. I don't know, that girl sometimes just makes me so mad. I can't help it, I just see red. I know, love, you're not the only one. I thought I had her all sorted out. Convinced her to go back to school. Where did I go wrong? Huh? Where did you go wrong? Come off it, Alice. Emma's never had it so good since she moved in with us. I mean, she's got a roof over her head. We've given her a good education. What more can you do for a kid? Oh, now, look, you leave this to me. You've done enough damage for one night. Hello there, where have you been? Over at Paul's getting my stuff. Not that I'll be needing it anymore. Like hell you won't. Alf, did this trip into town today have anything to do with your refusing to go back to school? Sort of. I went for a job interview. What sort of job? A tourist hostess at one of the new resorts on the Gold Coast. Huh, now I've heard everything. And what's wrong with that? Oh, there's nothing wrong with it, Emma. Oh, come off it, Em. Don't you know that hostess is just a glorified word for a waitress come general dog's body? You don't have to go all the way to the Gold Coast to get a dead-end job like it's that. not a dead-end job. Well, you're not going to the Gold Coast, and that's final. I can save your breath. I didn't get it anyway. I don't want to hear any more of this rubbish about leaving school, either. I don't care what you want. It's my life. Now, wait a minute, Emma. Oh, well done, Alf. So how'd you go at school? Oh, no problems. I'm now officially a free woman. Um, I have milkshake and hamburger with a lot. Can you pay for it? Uh, if you give me an advance on my allowance, I can. Alf and I were quite happy to support you while you were studying, but as that's no longer the oh, case... Oh, I get it. Emotional blackmail. No, not at all. But if you want to be treated like an adult, then you're going to have to start acting like one, taking responsibility for yourself. And that means paying for your own hamburgers. My first doll check's not going to come in for weeks. I guess you'll just have to get a job then, won't you? I've already been down the CES office. There's zilch. OK, I'll tell you what, if you're really desperate, you can babysit Duncan. Alf has to go to a rosary dinner and I've got to work tonight. I thought you were on my side. I am, Emma, honestly. Believe me, I know how much you wanted that hostessing job. But you're just going to have to learn that if you can't get the job you want most in the world, then sometimes you've got to settle the second best. Look, thanks for that. Make sure you're home by seven. Where's my white shirt, Alf? In the laundry basket, most likely. What the hell's it doing in there? Waiting to be ironed. But I wanted to wear it tonight. Well, you just have to iron it then, won't you? Yeah, I suppose I will. What are you going to do with Duncan? Oh, I'm going to take him over to the diner with me. Uh, Karen and Blake won't be back from the movies till after nine. 
Uh, I'm going to throttle that Emma. You did tell her I was going out, didn't you? I told her to be home by seven. Not that it appears she's taken any notice of me. I should never have agreed to her leaving school, you know. Since she's left, she thinks she can do whatever she likes. Well, we could hardly force her to stay, love. Although I might have talked her around if you'd kept a tighter rein on your temper last night. Oh, don't start that again, Arles. We've been too soft on her right from the start. That's been the problem. Now she's just putting us through the hoops for the fun of it. I wonder where she's got to. She'll turn up when she thinks the coast is clear. Tell you what, if I didn't have this flaming rotary dinner to go to, I'd stay here and give her a serve she wouldn't forget for a while. We're going to have to sort her out somehow before she really gets out of control. She's never been under control, if you ask me. 